What's up guys? It's your boy Osocraft just coming to you with a one-off video. At least I think it's going to be a one-off video. Um, I might do a couple more. Um, is Well, maybe you guys don't know, but I went to college for computers. Um, for everything, basically. But uh, what my specialty is and what I was able to pick up easily and what I learned in class was hardware-related things. Um, like, I can build a computer from scratch, not a problem, um, things like that. So it's very simple, and I just realized the webcam is kind of, like, crooked. But it looks like it's straight up and down on the computer, so whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Anyways, guys, um, I just barely started to try to learn coding, um, because I figured it'd be a useful, uh, bit of knowledge. Um, I started with C Sharp. Um, just barely, like, I just wrote my first little itsy-bitsy thing of code. Um, it's nothing big, it's just like a, basically almost a chat bot. Um, I'm still kind of working on it. So, anyways, I kind of wanted to show you guys, and I wanted a video record of where I started with this. And it'd be kind of cool to do, like, an update of it later on, where I can show even more I've learned, and maybe getting to the point where I can actually teach you guys how to write in uh, C Sharp and everything. Um, I have no uh, coding knowledge whatsoever. Um, so it's all new for me. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. Um, go ahead and go over here. Here's my OBS. Yay! Um, so right here you can see down at the bottom it says number two Microsoft Visual Studio. So this is what I'm using to write the code. I'm going to bring this up. Uh, let's close that. So, <clears throat> sorry. So here's the code I have so far. It's nothing special. It doesn't even look fancy. Uh, I guess. I don't know if that matters or not, but to me it doesn't. So here we are. Um, so basically, uh, la -la. this is all the starting information for the uh, program to know to open the right stuff and everything. But here's the actual coding that I did here, um, which basically does what it says. So console.write, meaning it will write this on a console window. Who are you with the dots in a space? And then if you look down here, string name equals console read line with a, a empty here. Um, that's waiting for my, or waiting for user input. And then, <clears throat> right here, console write line hello, and then there's a what do I call it again? An integer, I think is the name of it. No, it's not an integer. Um, I forgot what it's called. Anyways, name which brings it up to this string here, and basically when I do this, it's remembering whatever the user input is um, as name, so I can refer back to whatever the user put in in the beginning so like if it's if the person puts in Matt for instance this line here will say hello Matt which we'll show you how it actually looks in a second okay and the next one is console write how are you today so it's the same thing as this who are you one except for it's just saying something different is all um, which is kinda cool and then the string how so this is the same thing as the name one I'm just giving it a different uh, one so I can actually go back to that one and not accidentally go back to the name and then down here so you are doing plus the uh, how which is here whatever the user puts here so if they put good it will say so you're doing good if they put bad it will say so you're doing bad uh, there's gonna be more to this uh, program here shortly um, I've been doing more research to learn more so this was just the first thing I did um, I guess most people start with hello world, uh, but I didn't want to start with that. So here we are. So now if I hit control F5, it will run this as a program in console. Like so, who are you? So we're just going to say Mike. Hello, Mike. How are you today? Good. So you're doing good. And then it ends with the uh, press any key to continue, um, which I believe just closes it. 
and I just was looking up a tutorial on how to do a chat bot a little more efficiently. Um, so there's going to be more to it. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I screenshotted just for reference purposes for myself. Uh, this is the reference for that, which I don't need anymore. I've already deleted it. So, so this is what I'm looking at now. Oops. I want to zoom in. So basically I'm going to have it set up like this where it's like the computer, the user talking to me. So I'll use those. Um, there's little case output variable stuff. Um, that I'll be doing as well. Um, but here's a good, oh, right here. Um, while, this one right here. And there's a little bit more code to it up at the top. I didn't screenshot in the right place, so. But that will keep the uh, program open. Um, and I believe it gets rid of the press any key to continue thing. I'm not 100%, but then again, you know, I just started. I'm not just trying to copy code for code. I'm actually trying to take what I learned from seeing it here and apply it to my own stuff. That's the best way to do it. Um, you don't want to just copy code and run it and be like, oh, it works. And then like thinking, well, you know how to code. Now, if you can actually learn that way, um, yay, I guess. Um, I don't know anybody that can because you're not really storing it to memory. You're just copying. Um just like doing data entry, for instance, you don't necessarily pick up on what you're writing down most of the time. You're just copying, okay, this is what goes here, this is what goes there, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, it, it's good to have an understanding of uh, what you're doing and everything. Uh, even with hardware, that was something like, because we used Canvas back in class. Um, it was basically an online thing where we can log into and uh, uh, <clears throat> do our homework and classwork on there. Um, and that was one thing our teacher stressed to us was that, you know, we don't want to just be putting the answers blindly. We want to understand the reason it's true. So, like, for instance, a... LGA socket versus a, uh, hold on, LGA, there's BGA, and PGA. Um, we want to understand the differences, like LGA is a land grid array, a PGA is a pin grid array, and a BGA is a ball grid array. Well, okay, yeah, I can just copy, okay, if this is the question... I already know it's LGA or PGA or BGA or whatever. Um, we want to understand why that is true. Now, the land grid array are the, like, uh, intels are those. Um, basically, the pins are on the CPU socket, not on the CPU. Pin grid array is the CPU has the pins. The socket has the little holes in it to receive those pins and a ball grid array is basically like a cpu that's actually soldered to the motherboard so there's tiny little balls of solder all over that cpu that are soldered onto the proper places on the board itself um, so when a question comes up like let's say if it had a picture of a cpu upside down and it has pins sticking up off of it and it's asking you what type of socket it is you want to understand and know why that is a pin grid array um, so same thing with the coding you want to understand uh, why things do the things they do you okay over there come here come here and for those of you guys who've been around longer, uh, along with this channel, if you guys remember, baby girl, hi, baby girl, oh, stop the licking. <laughs> she got a brother, uh, soon to be boyfriend, I guess. Um, so maybe I'll try to get him on video once. Anyways, guys, that's it's simple in a nutshell, and there's nothing. Oh, sorry, I'm probably off camera, aren't I? Let me actually switch back to here so I can see myself. 
and we'll go to talk. Um, there we go. Uh, so yeah, it's just something simple. I wanted to kind of, um, document where I started when it comes to programming. Now, some of you guys who actually know how to program and everything like that, you might look at my code and my explanation of things and probably laugh. That's okay. That's okay. I'm laughing too. Trust me. Um, I'm just learning. Literally, I decided last night, and let's see, it is... June 5th, 2019, when I'm recording this, so June 4th, I decided at like 10 o'clock at night, I really want to learn how to code. Um, so, here we are. <laughs> I literally woke up this morning, 8 o'clock this morning, and I started working on that code, and then I started watching some YouTube videos. Um, yeah, <laughs> let me actually show you. This is why I originally started learning code. Um, I've played around and watched this guy on YouTube quite a bit, actually. He makes really random things, like this Taser Cup hilarious video, by the way. Um, it's a little short, but he does these stupid uh, daft ideas, like a gas-powered fishing pole, and he basically makes them. Um, and he always kind of shows his code, and he always makes the comment, you know, nobody cares about that because it's boring, blah, blah, blah. I find it interesting myself. Um, I might not fully understand it at times, but I still enjoy it. But if you scroll down here, right here, this one right there, C plus, or C sharp, sorry, tutorial, setting up Visual Studios, um, same with this one for beginners, and then there's this one here. That's all he made. That was a year ago. That's all he made on his tutorial, and he was talking about a part four in it. I'm very depressed and upset about that. Anyways. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's kind of what got me more interested in doing it. I mean, I've always wanted to learn code. Um, I'm not going to lie. Like, most people who get into computers that I've heard of, um, not all, but some, um, have that idea, oh, I want to hack and stuff like that. Well, hacking involves coding because you got to know how to do things. Um, that is where I started, yes. I've always had an interest for computers um, and messing around with things on computers. Once I went to college, um, it changed more of I'm into the actual physical break fix, as they call it, on computers just because I'm good at it. I know what I'm doing. I know how to troubleshoot a computer. I know how to repair most problems. Um, the thing I have issues with and things that I didn't get good grades in class about was anything on the software level. Um, I had issues with that, like Microsoft Word is causing issues or whatever, or not working properly, sorry. Um, I couldn't figure out how to troubleshoot that and figure out why. Um, so on the software side, I have issues and I need to learn more to understand. And I figure starting off with C sharp, I, from what I've heard, it's supposed to be a pretty easy language to learn. Um, so I'm trying that. I'm going to eventually try JavaScript, Python. I really want to do Python for a couple other reasons. Um, but anyways, guys, if you guys have any tips of some good resources, I can go to for C plus. Uh, maybe even just a YouTube channel that does C++ tutorials. Uh, that would be a big help, um, as you can see. I am doing my research, but I want to find a person who does a good video, who is very informative, but at the same time kind of light and have fun with it type of thing. Because most of these, they talk all uh, monotone. And just like a robot, you need to do this or that and it's very boring and it's hard to keep my interest in it i've watched several of these videos already and closed off of them almost immediately so yeah yeah <laughs> i have a short attention span as you guys can tell by this video and how much i'm rambling um anyways guys if you're new around here you know feel free to subscribe gonna be good content coming i'm sorry i'm not on a regular schedule um I'm trying to change that, but it's kind of hard right now. I'm trying to find different things and, well, you know, 
Anyways, not going to get into all of that, but uh, as you can tell, I'm not in the van no more, so yay. Um, stayed homesick today. Yeah. I'm not sick. Just having one of those days, I guess. <laughs> not getting into it anyways. Um, yeah, so if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Um, hit that like button too, guys. It lets me know you guys that are interested in my con uh, content. Uh, if I don't get enough likes, I know you guys aren't interested in this programming stuff, so I won't post any more again. I'll just record it for my personal preference, so that way I have a record of it. But if you guys want to see, you know, th then hit that like button and let me know. Uh, down in the comments, um, if you guys have any ideas or tips or anything like that when it comes to this stuff, uh, let me know. Um, there's no such thing as a stupid comment. Wow. Anyways. <laughs> um, and, you know, everybody forgets to do this, too. When you sub, don't forget to hit that bell icon, guys. It's really, really important. Um, you hit that bell icon, and confetti shoots all over your screen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but you hit that bell icon, it lets YouTube know you really want to see this person's content. Now, if you're sub but you didn't hit that bell you're not going to guaranteed get notifications or anything like that when I upload. Um, so you might miss an upload and be like, okay, what's going on? He hasn't uploaded in a long, long time. Oh, here's the videos. <laughs> um, so yeah, hit that bell icon to make sure you guys get the notifications. And like I said, new, make sure you sub and hit that like button. And you know, comment down below what you guys would like to see. Um, whether it be gameplay stuff, uh, more of coding stuff like this, you know, let me know. Anyways, guys, I love you all, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!